Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm getting ready for the day while testing out new makeup, including the New Girl On Foundation. I also have pieces from their Spring Pearl Glow Collection, meteorites and lipsticks. And then I'm also testing out the new Pat McGrath Labs Eternal Eden Eyeshadow Quad. So if you would like to hear my thoughts on these new products as I get ready for the day, just keep watching. I already applied my Wander Beauty under eye masks and just a smidge of the Pat McGrath Labs concealer to prep the lids. So I'm going to begin by unboxing this Divine Rose Luxe Quad Eternal Eden. I love the Divine Rose packaging. It's always so beautiful. This just arrived yesterday, so this will be the very first time I've played around with this on the eyes. I went ahead and I just swatched all of the colors just so I could get an idea of how I would use them today. They are named on the back. There's Pink Mystique, Temptation, Earthly Delight, and Forbidden Fruit are the names of the shadows. I love every shade in this quad. They feel so soft and creamy, just like the larger Mothership palettes. Very different from the Rose Astral quad, which I also purchased. With those, they're all shimmery, and I feel like you really have to work at them to build them up. Not with these. If you touch ever so lightly, you get a ton of pigment. So I think the color payoff is incredible. With a Refer 16 brush, I'm picking up this bottom mauve shade right here, and I'm going to begin by buffing that in the crease, concentrating on the outer half of the crease. Next, with a flat shader brush, I'm picking up the purple shade, and this is going all over the lid. I love this purple shade. I'm not usually a huge fan of purples, but I love this. For whatever reason, I think it's just the perfect shade. It's not so bold, vibrant, intense that it knocks your socks off. It's very flattering. I'm really tempted to pull out another Mothership palette and get something a little bit deeper than this for the outer V, but for the purposes of today's video and just testing out these new pieces, I'm going to stick with just this quad. So now I've picked up a Refer 13 brush and I'm going into this pink shade. And I'm going to pop that in the outer V instead. It's not going to add a lot of depth and dimension, just a little pop of color to make it a bit more interesting. Ooh, it's very chalky. <laughs> that is a lot chalkier than I expected. Is this going to work? Hmm. works. It looks really pretty, just to give it a little something else. I'm barely tapping in this eyeshadow and it kicks up a lot of dust, so just be careful. You really don't need to rub at all, just barely tap it in there. Last step for the upper lid, same flat shader brush. I'm going into this really pretty pale shade and I'm gonna pop a little bit of that right on the center. Ooh, that looks so pretty. It's time to remove the under eye masks. And I really don't have much to clean up under there. Since I'm testing this new Guerlain L'Essential High Perfection 24-Hour Foundation, I pulled out my Meteorites base. So this is going to be my primer for the day. It's going to help give a little glow. I did one and a half pumps on the back of my hand, and I'm just going to blend that all over the face, starting in the center. I love this primer because it helps to grip the foundation, but it also gives a little glow and luminosity. 
The primer works perfectly with the Pearl Glow collection. The color story is very similar. And now I'm ready for foundation. I'm gonna give this a little shake just in case. I purchased this from the Selfridges website a couple weeks ago now. It does say Selfridges exclusive, but I'm hoping at some point soon it will be available here in the States at a different retailer. And I went with 03N. That's what I have in the other Lysential foundation. I love that foundation. It has more of a glowy finish, so I really wanted to test this out. And again, this is the Lysential High Perfection 24-hour wear. I pulled up some information on the website, so it says... It's made with 96% naturally derived ingredients. It has SPF 15 with vegetal silk to mattify and white cocoa beans to tend to your skin. The matte formula leaves your complexion looking seriously immaculate, protected from harmful UVA and UVB rays for a full 24 hour wear. Available in 30 different shades to match every skin tone. This isn't a true first impression. I did try this foundation just the other day. I've only worn it one other time. I didn't really do anything. I just kind of hung out, worked around the house. I remember thinking it was slightly more matte, but it wasn't overly matte. So I'm excited to test this out again. The first time I didn't apply any primer, anything like that. I really wasn't even paying attention. So I'm excited. This time I'll be taking notes and I'll let you know what I think. I'm gonna look up close, see what it looks like. I'm just blending this out with my smoothing face brush. Yes, from Bare Minerals. Mm. It's heavily fragranced. All of the Guerlain foundations are, but you forget just how fragranced they are until you use them. I really like the coverage. It's definitely more coverage than the other Guerlain foundation, which is also called L'Essential, so it's a little bit tricky. I don't want anybody to get confused. Very full coverage, very perfecting, just like it says. I think it looks really nice. This is my ideal type of foundation formula, so I kind of thought I would love it, and I do. I love everything except the fragrance. <laughs> it's pretty strong. I even really like the bottle. I remember reading on the Guerlain website whenever I reviewed the original Essential that this was created by an architect, designed it, and it's meant to represent balance, which is a beautiful detail for a foundation bottle. Foundation is done. I really like it. Maybe it's because I went in with the Meteorites primer, but I feel like I have plenty of glow. It doesn't look too matte. It doesn't look dry on the skin. I have a little reflection. I think it's really pretty. The first time I used it, I didn't use any primer, and I still felt like I had a little glow. Since I still get oil in my T-zone and I live in such a hot, humid climate, I might prefer this new formula. I'll have to test them out side by side and really compare the two, but by itself, I really like it. I think it looks really nice on the skin. No complaints from me so far. Next up is concealer. I'm just applying a little bit of the Pat McGrath Labs. This has become my favorite concealer. I don't know what I would do without it. And I use L3. But I'm tempted to pick this up in an even lighter shade because once it dries down and it oxidizes, it's not quite as brightening underneath the eye as I would like. I don't think this is the lightest shade. I'm assuming it's not. It was probably a year when I purchased. But if there's an L1 and an L2, I'll go with the L1. See, now it looks really bright. Once it dries down, it's not going to look this bright. I'm 
To set my face, I'm using the By Terry Hyaluronic Tinted Hydra Powder in the shade 1 Rosy Light. Just a little bit. I also have the Guerlain Meteorites to test today. The Pink Pearl. But it's a little bit too pink to set the under eye. I'm going to save that for the cheeks. This by Terry powder has moved up to the top drawer and it's become my go-to everyday powder. I really like it. At first it looks incredibly mattifying, but you have to give it some time. After about 30 minutes, you can tell it's more hydrating than most powders. To warm up my complexion, I'm going in with the Gucci bronzer. I have shade three. I love this bronzer so much. It gives the perfect amount of color. It's the right tone, but it blends so nicely. I probably should be using a Guerlain bronzer for this. It's been a while since I've used my terracotta bronzer. I can't wait for all of the summer collections when all of the brands are going to come out with new bronzers. Now we're going to apply the Pink Pearl Meteorites from Guerlain. This is part of their spring collection. I ordered these from Harrods as soon as they dropped. Well, actually, as soon as they dropped, they sold out. But then I just happened to check one morning because I thought, I really want them. Let me just see if they're available again. And it said one left. I added to cart and I checked out so quickly. I squealed. I was so excited I was able to get my hands on these. Because every time they pop up somewhere, they sell out really quickly. I don't know why Guerlain does that to us. <laughs> they just sort of dangle the carrot and then they pull it away quickly. Because people want these. They would sell out if they produced more. I heard a nasty rumor that this isn't going to come to the United States. I hope that's not the case. But we already have the pearl lipstick cases and the lipsticks. So who knows, there might be truth to it. I had no idea that there were two shades. Somebody told me there's a second shade and that's what's in the promo picture because I thought, that doesn't look anything like my pearl pink meteorites. There were two. I was only able to get my hands on this one. I didn't even know the other one existed. It's like finding a unicorn in the forest. If you spot it, you just have to swipe it up. Don't even think twice about it. I'm sure you can tell the pink pearl is very pink. So I think this is better as a blush. I'm going to dip my brush in there, swirl around. Ooh. Looks so beautiful. Now these are really special. You can see it's a very faint pink and a little glow. It's almost a highlighter blush all-in-one product. They give the perfect amount of color and luminosity. I just love these Pink Pearl Meteorites. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for them. If I find them anywhere, I will let you guys know. This is a must-have item. Even though Guerlain never comes out with a huge collection, it's always just a couple pieces, everything is always amazing, including these. I still want a little more glow on these cheeks, so I pulled out my cheek duo from Chanel, the Fleur de Printemps Blush and Highlighter Duo. This is another one of my favorite products of the year. You just know when something is incredibly special and nothing will come out later on that replaces it. That's how I feel about this too. So with a little brush, I'm just gonna pick up the highlighter. We have enough blush just to give a little bit more of a sheen. If I had to choose between the two recent highlighters, well, the highlighting blush, illuminating blush, and this, I would go with this cheek duo. This is even prettier than the highlighter, which is also really pretty. If I had to choose, I would choose this one. 
If you can get them both, get them both. They're different. You will not regret it. I like how this highlighter has a pink undertone. It matches the look perfectly. Now it's time to finish the eye, so I'm picking up Eternal Eden again, and with this little precision brush, I'm going into this top shade right here. Temptation, I think it is. It's really beautiful rose gold. I almost wish I picked up the highlighter as well, <gasps> but I was strong. I'm going to stay strong, but this is going in the inner corner and the tear duct. Same brush, I'm picking up this pink shade right here. And I'm going to run that beneath the lower lash line on the inside. Kind of blend into that lighter shade. And I'm stopping about halfway in. Same brush. <laughs> I'm going into the mauve shade down at the bottom, and I'm going to use that to finish the outer half of the lash line. So we've tied in the rest of the palette. I think it looks really pretty that way. Mmm. -hmm. I pulled out my Burgundy Perlé Stilo Ombre A Contour Stick from Chanel. This is part of the Pearls AE Clat collection. I'm going to use this to line the inner rim of the eyes. It's a little bit more red since it's burgundy and not really purple or pink, but it works. You could also do brown, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. The beige perle would probably look really nice as well. Ooh, I love it. It's all coming together. I'm back, I filled in my eyebrows, did top liquid eyeliner and mascara. I don't know what's going on with this eyebrow. This eyebrow, perfection, this one, I kept playing with it, trying to fix it, and it's just doing its own thing today. Sometimes that happens. Lately, that has been the case. I feel like one eyebrow is perfect, the other one just goes rogue on me. But the last step we have for today is lips. So I wanna show you these beautiful Guerlain lipsticks. I skipped out on the liquid lipsticks from the Divine Rose 2 collection. They look really pretty. I have so many lipsticks I just can't keep purchasing. And I know here I am showing you two new lipsticks. But the thing is, ready for my justification? I don't mind purchasing these lipsticks because I can hold on to these cases forever. And maybe that is silly and it shouldn't be a good excuse, but I knew as soon as I saw these that I wanted to pick up the cases. And then I thought, well, I might as well get lipsticks for the cases or else I'll never even use the case. So I picked up both lipstick cases and lipsticks from Harrods. I know these are available in the US. I saw them at Nordstrom and Neiman Marcus, but everything is selling out so quickly. There are very limited quantities. In fact, I didn't even find the pink lipstick here. There's Nude Pearl and Pink Pearl. 07 and 76 are the numbers, but you should be able to find the lipstick cases. And of course, you can change out the lipstick and you can just hold on to the cases. It doesn't have to go with the pearl lipstick. Another great thing about the lipstick cases, besides the fact that you can hold on to them, is that they have a mirror inside. One of the mirrors is magnified, the other one is normal. So you can use them to apply your lipstick. And these cases are gorgeous. I remember when I first saw photos, I think I mentioned them in a love it or leave it video and I said, I hope they're really pretty and they don't look really cheap and cheesy. 
and they don't. They look stunning. I love the little pearls. Just as beautiful as the rhinestone cases, in my opinion. So for today's look, I'm going to go ahead and apply the pink pearl. It gives a little hint of color and really pretty sheen. It's just a beautiful lipstick. I love the pink pearl and the nude pearl. And that's it. My makeup for the day is now complete. So let's quickly recap by talking about some of the new products we tested today. Starting with the eyeshadow quad, Eternal Eden. I really like it. No regrets purchasing this. I'm very happy I added this to my collection because each shadow is very beautiful, high quality. There's not a single shadow in this quad that is bad or that I won't use. And it's pretty complete. I didn't pick up any other eyeshadows today and I was able to complete a look. But I think in the future, if you really wanna take this to the next level, you might wanna incorporate Probably the Divine Rose 2 palette. I think those two would go really nicely together. But if you just picked up the quad, I think you will be really happy. This shade right here is incredible. The sparkly purple, stunning. This shade up here is so pretty. So is this shade and this shade. They're all really nice. Oh, I really like this quad. I'm so happy I picked this up. The foundation. I really like this foundation. Very full coverage. It looks pretty matte right now. I've only had it on for probably an hour or so, but I don't think it looks dry. I don't think it looks too matte. When I look closely in the mirror, I don't think my skin looks bad. I can't really see it. Let's see. No, nothing. Yeah. It just looks very flawless, like a full face of makeup. It does have SPF 15, but I don't think that's enough to give you a lot of flashback. I imagine this would be really great for brides' photos since it's meant to be long wear, full coverage. I'll have to take pictures in it and see. But I really like the foundation. I think I like this even more than the original L'Essential. Of course, I have combination skin, so if something is really glowy, that can be a huge disaster on me. I'm very happy I picked this up. It's going to be... A new go-to foundation. I love the meteorites. The pink pearl meteorites were incredible. Great purchase. And then I love these lipsticks, both of them. I'm wearing the pink pearl now. I think they're nice for spring summer because they go on very sheer with a little luminosity. You could layer them on top of something else. You could layer them with glosses and just kind of make them your own. Overall, I am very happy with the way today's makeup turned out. So that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about some of these new products? As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.